Okay, it's great to be back at TED. Um, why don't I just start by firing away with video? Okay, Glass, record a video. This is it, we're on in two minutes. Okay, Glass, hang out with the Flying Club. Google photos of tiger heads. Hmm. You ready? You ready? Right there. Okay, Glass, take a picture. Sorry, I, um, I just got this message from a Nigerian prince who uh, needs help um, getting $10 million out. But I like to pay attention to these because uh, that's how we originally funded the company, and it's gone pretty well. Though, in all seriousness, uh, the, this position that you just saw me in, um, looking down at my phone, um, that's one of the reasons behind this project, uh, Project Glass. Um, because we ultimately question whether this is you know, the ultimate future of how you want to connect to other people in your life, how you want to connect to information. Um, you know, should it be by just walking around, looking down? But uh, that was the vision behind Glass, and that's why we've created this form factor. Okay. And... Um, uh, I don't want to go through all the things it does and whatnot, but I want to tell you a little bit more about uh, the motivation behind what led to it. In addition to uh, potentially socially isolating yourself when you're you know, out and about looking at your phone, it's kind of, uh, you know, is this what you're meant to do with your body? You know, you're standing around there and you're just like rubbing this uh, featureless piece of glass, you know, you're just kind of moving around. So when we Develop glass, we thought really about, can we make something that frees your hands? You saw all the things people are doing in the video back there. They are all wearing glass, and that's how we got that footage. Uh, and also, you want something that frees your eyes. That's why we put the display up high, you know, out of your line of sight, so it wouldn't be where you're looking. Um, it wouldn't be where you're making eye contact with people. And also, we wanted to free up the ears. Uh, so um, the sound actually uh, goes through, uh, conducts straight to the bones in your cranium, which is a little bit uh, freaky at first, but uh, you get used to it. And, and ironically, to, if you want to hear it better, you actually just cover your ear, which is kind of surprising. But uh, that's how it works. My vision when we started Google uh, 15 years ago was that eventually you wouldn't have to have a search query at all. Uh, you just have information come to you as you needed it. Uh, and this is now, 15 years later, sort of the first form factor that I think can deliver that vision when you're out and about on the street talking to people and so forth. 
This project has lasted now uh, been just over two years. We've learned an amazing amount. It's been really important to make it comfortable. Uh, so our first, uh, you know, prototypes we built were huge. Like it was like cell phones strapped to your head. It was very heavy, um, pretty uncomfortable. Um, we had to keep it secret from our industrial designer until she actually accepted the job, and then she almost ran away uh, screaming. But we've come a long way. Um, and the other really unexpected surprise was the camera. Our original prototypes didn't have cameras at all, uh, but it's been really magical to be able to capture moments uh, spent with uh, my family, my kids. I just never would have dug out a camera or a phone or something else to take that moment. And lastly, I've realized uh, in experimenting with this device uh, that uh, I also kind of have a nervous tick, you know. Uh, I mean, the cell phone is, yeah, it's kind of, you have to look down on it and all that, but it's also kind of a nervous habit. Like, you know, if I smoked, I'd probably just smoke instead. I would just light up a cigarette. It would look cooler, you know, I'd be like. <sighs> uh, but in this case, you know, I whip this out and I, you know, sit there and look as if I have something very important to do or to attend to. But it, it really opened my eyes to how much of my life, um, you know, I spent kind of just kind of secluding away and be it email or social posts or whatnot, even though it wasn't really, there's nothing really that important or that pressing. And with this, I know I will get uh, certain messages if I really need them, but I don't have to be checking them all the time. Yeah, I've really enjoyed actually exploring the world more, doing more of the crazy things like you saw in the video. Thank you all very much.